start of a new week means new MLB matchups to handicap and get excited about. I have five best bets coming your way. Are you guys with me? What's up, sports fans? My name is Chris, and you are now rocking with the 5 Tool Podcast. We are a daily baseball betting show that touches on just about everything you want to know about Major League Baseball from a betting perspective. Today's Monday, April 1st, and in today's video, we have five plays coming your way that we believe have the best opportunity to make us a profit here on a Monday night. Now, before we get into the plays, though, if you haven't already smashed the like button, please go ahead and do so now. If you guys are new around here, please hit the subscribe button. We are pumping out some great content on a daily basis. I do not want you to miss out on anything going forward. Now, for those of you watching this show for the first time, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. We run this show a little bit different than most MLB betting shows. Each episode, we offer five selections. We offer a side, a total, a first inning prop bet, a wild card selection. It can be anything that's widely available to be wagered on, such as pitcher strikeouts, team totals, anything of that nature. And we have a daily home run prop where we give out a low risk, high reward type play. All the bets are tracked. They're linked in a Google Doc sheet that's linked in the description. Give it a click if you want to follow along the day to day record. Now, without further ado, here's tonight's five best bets. The first play we have for you is our side selection four. We're taking the Pittsburgh Pirates money line plus 100 over the Washington Nationals. Look, no matter how you slice it, going 4 0 to start the season is always an impressive feat, even if the Pittsburgh Pirates beat up on the lowly Miami Marlins all four games. However, you can only play who's on the schedule, and next up for the Pirates that's playing some good baseball is a Washington National team that figures to struggle throughout the duration of the season. The Nationals are 1-2 and two to start the season, and while they have uh, a win under their belt, pitching is going to be an issue all season long. They give up plenty of runs in Cincinnati in that three-game series. They do send Mackenzie Gore to the bump. He was the lone bright spot in last year's uh, dismal season, but he's still got an ERA north of four, and I expect the Pirates to jump on him early and often in this contest. I'll take the hotter team here right now. I know it's early, but give me the better team, the Pittsburgh Pirates, on the money line at a nice plus money price, plus 100. The second play we have for you is our total split. We're taking the over 7.5 runs in the Detroit Tigers-New York Mets contest. The odds are minus 110. Look, when you look at this line from a betting perspective, 7.5, that's a relatively low line. But when you look at the two pitchers going to the bump, we believe the over is the play here. This is a full fate of Sean Manaya as I don't believe he's a quality starting pitcher in the major leagues um, today. He's got three of the last four seasons. He had an ERA north of 4.4, and his stuff is simply weak and doesn't blow anybody away at the plate. The Detroit Tigers, they come into this game off a three-game sweep at the hands of the Chicago White Sox, but their offense didn't exactly bust out in a big way as they expected to do so. They did win, but I'm expecting them sitting on a big outburst here at City Field. As for the Mets, Offensively, they were dog shit against the Brewers. They lost all three games to open up the season. They put up one, six, and one runs, respectively, in each of those three contests. But that was against some solid pitching. Reese Olsen for the Detroit Tigers is not a solid pitcher. So we're sitting on here a Mets breakout performance as well. Two teams getting good pitching matchups going against uh, them in their favor. We're going to take the over here at 7.5 and odds minus 110. The third play we have for you is our first inning prop bet in four. We're going to Toronto and Houston. We're taking the yes run first inning at odds minus 115. Look, through four games this season, we've seen the good and the bad from the Blue Jays' offense. In two wins, they put up 17 runs. In two losses, just three runs combined. Now, they go to Houston where they face uh, Roland Blanco in this contest. And I expect the good Blue Jays' offense to pounce on him early. Blanco is only in this rotation due to injuries to Justin Verlander and Jose Ucurdy, so he's definitely not a starting rotation type pitcher. On the flip side, Houston Astros, they need a big bounce back in a big way after getting swept by the New York Yankees, and they get to face off a rookie pitcher making his first start in Bowden Francis for the Toronto Blue Jays, so I expect them to come to the plate with an aggressive approach. Yes, run first in Toronto Houston, minus 115. Fourth play we have for you is our wild card prop at and forward. We're taking Sean Manea of the New York Mets. Over four and a half hits allowed at odds of minus 115. Look, this goes back to our totals play, which we're taking the over in the Tigers-Mets contest. Manea, he's not a quality starting pitcher. I expect him to get hit around. The Tigers offense needs to bust out in a big way. And with some good hitting conditions here, going up against a terrible pitcher in Sean Manea, I expect the Tigers to rack up the hits and put up a big score. Sean Manea, over four and a half uh, hits allowed at odds of minus 115. The final play we have for you is our daily home run prop bet. We are taking Shohei Otani of the Los Angeles Dodgers, plus 300 to hit a home run. Remember, these are for 0.1 units, a low-risk, high-reward play. And in this particular matchup, the weather is favorable, hit good hitting conditions at Dodger Stadium once again. Otani's been racking up the hits. He's not gone yard yet, but we like the pitching matchup with him versus the San Francisco Giants pitcher. Otani to go yard, plus 300. That wraps up episode three of the Five Tool Podcast. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to help support the videos, please smash the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, or leave a comment in the comment section if you guys are tailing or fading tonight's bets. As always, good luck.